Hey, so three weeks ago we got the 2020 MacBook Air and wanted to see how good it actually is for digital product design. Hey, hey, hey. So all the things that we are doing daily, like using Sketch and Figma and Envision and sometimes Adobe Illustrator. So how does it handle all those things? But first things first, the main thing that is really great about this laptop compared to the one I'm using normally is the new keyboard. It's just way better. It's a um, step back to how the Mac keyboards used to be, but it's just uh, compared to those flat keys that get stuck all the time, it's just uh, a whole different level. So typing in uh, measurements in Sketch or just adding text onto the design is just a lot easier and a lot better and it feels great. So as far as performance goes, um, it did sometimes uh, turn on the fan and the fans could get pretty loud, but it doesn't really happen that often. And the main reason for the fans to go off is actually if you open a lot of browser windows and there are some scripts or ads running in the background and loading and reloading all the time. And in that case, it actually sometimes even turned on the fan when it was closed like that, but connected to power. So while some of the web browsing was a potential performance hit, during the day-to-day -day work, we didn't really notice anything like that. So it worked perfectly in both Figma and Sketch, and it even handled pretty large and complex Illustrator files. So in those three weeks, we used the laptop to work on a couple different products, mostly mobile apps, and they were at least uh, 50 screens each. So the laptop handled it pretty well, even though the 50 screens were all on the same page. And it also handled more complex objects and elements. So the bottom line is that I think that this laptop is really great for UI design and it's really lightweight and the battery lasts at least six to seven hours of continuous uh, sketch use, which is uh, a little bit lower than just browsing the web, but at the same time it does uh, put some stress on the processor and, and the batteries as well. So the main thing to remember is that this laptop that we have here is not the base model of the 2020 MacBook Air. This is the mid-tier model with bumped up uh, SSD and 16 gigs of RAM. And if you're gonna work with larger documents, you just really need to get those 16 gigs and you have to do it while buying it. So there is no way to upgrade it. So I'm not really sure how the very base, the cheapest model would fare in similar scenarios, but if this one handled all our workloads perfectly, it's uh, a good indication that even the baseline could be pretty good. We used to also work on the 12 inch MacBook, the one here, and uh, the performance difference between those two, while we didn't really expect it to be big, it was really huge. So the MacBook Air is just a way better way to work on digital design than the 12 inch MacBook, which is okay, because this one is actually discontinued already anyway. So yeah, holding them like this, I actually feel the weight difference. So the MacBook Air is a little bit heavier, and this one is maybe lighter and only has that one port, but at the same time, the performance wasn't really that great. It sometimes took really like at least half a minute to load the document. And getting around the document, you know, with some actual work and not just small changes was also pretty cumbersome. So we're keeping this laptop as like a lightweight travel device to take with us on the go and maybe make some small adjustments if we get some feedback to a project. But this one can actually be your main machine now. This works really great and uh, it's just more than enough. So if you're doing digital design work and you're not really making videos, um, this laptop is gonna be perfect for you and you don't really need to go for the pro. So what laptops are you using daily and what tools are you using on those laptops? Just let me know how it works for you. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, click the like button under this video and tell me in the comments what laptops are you using at the moment. Cheers.